about 100 kilometers northwest of the city of Sudbury, bordering the Spanish River watershed, lies an area known as the West Spanish Forest. Here, stands of old growth, red, white, and jack pine dominate this landscape of rivers, creeks, and long windy lakes. After carefully poring over internet sites and satellite maps, we have plotted ourselves a route through this remote area in search of wildlife, great fishing, and adventure. We would not be disappointed. So we're midway through a little known route uh, west of the Spanish River uh, in northern Ontario. Coming up through Rushbrook and Shakwa Lake, it takes you up the Shakwa River and from there you paddle through a chain of scenic lakes till you get to Mosabong and Indian Lake. Then there's a crossover from Indian Lake and from there you can portage over a series of snowmobile trails and rough paths uh, until you reach Cinnaminda Creek. But after that we've made our way down to Cinnaminda Lake and it's an absolutely gorgeous lake. Uh, it's, it's huge, there's no development, we've only seen one cabin way up in the north end of the lake. Uh, and to tackle on a little bit of extra fun and adventure, we're going to try the Agnes River uh, just south of here and see if we can connect that back to Rushbrook where we parked the car. Uh, and if we can't get down there, it's going to be a bit of a slog, bushwhacking, maybe traveling upstream on the Shakwa River. But we've set our sights on a potential 3K portage down a logging road. Um, at some point down the river, which may take us back to Tea Lake and the Shakwa River. So we'll see. Adventure lies in wait. The first two days of our journey took us north through a series of small lakes and creeks. Portages around here appeared as though they had not seen much use in a very long time. We were able to hack our way through most of them and did our part by flagging trails and clearing some debris out of the way. Beaver dams were plentiful, but thankfully these obstacles were easy to overcome, requiring only a simple lift over. By the afternoon on our second day, a paddle of more than 20 kilometers lay ahead of us as we tackled the long and narrow Mosabong Lake. Our progress was slowed by the relentless strong headwinds, but the magnificent scenery of this northern landscape made it somehow seem all worth the effort. Making lunch on a logging road, trying to find the portage from Indian Lake to Lamprey Lake and we were in the bay where it looks like it's supposed to be on the map but I mean the information we got we don't know how you know verified it is and if those portages even exist we found what looked to be a landing but kind of petered out in the bush so we found a little further down the lake it looks like an old snowmobile trail and it was pretty much a sharp 70 degree incline up to the road here and now we're on the logging road, baking in the sun with deer flies, and it's 1.50 and overdue for lunch right now. We still got a big portage ahead of us. We're gonna leave the logging road behind, and now it's time to bushwhack down to aptly named Mishap Creek. By day three, we are heading southwards through a series of small scenic lakes and narrow streams. Some so tiny, there's barely room for our canoe. But eventually, 
we reach the much larger Cinnaminda Creek and its bounty of game fish, which for us means a hearty fish fry for lunch. Full water here on Cinnaminda Creek, on our way down to Cinnaminda Lake. No real portage, just a bit of a lift over over a log jam, and we're down the creek. It's been a really amazing journey exploring all the small lakes and creeks just west of the Spanish River. This area is very scenic and there's some huge stands of old growth white and red pine. But this trip has not been without its challenges. For instance, when it comes to portages, some of the portages have been really overgrown. They haven't been used in a long time. And a few, well, we just couldn't find and ended up hacking our way through the bush. Campsites, there's quite a few campsites, but by the looks of things, most of these campsites have not been used in decades. But if you want solitude, this is a great place to come. In five days of paddling, we've only seen one other canoe. So we're about to leave Cinnamon the Lake behind. We're we'll start the real adventurous portion of our journey. Not to say that the trip so far hasn't been adventurous, but we don't really know what's in store for us down the uh, Agnes River. We only really have a few vague sort of rough notes and maps on this stretch. So we don't know about portages or rapids, but we do know there are rapids down the stretch. So we'll, we'll see what we're gonna face down there. We'll play the adventurous duo and all we scouted out. We'll see what the Agnes has in store for us. But first, a little bit of fishing at the base of this dam. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. So far, I like the uh, Agnes River. Two casts, two bass. Go for three for three. Come a short way down from the dam. We've had a few little rapids, nothing crazy, nothing we couldn't handle. We still don't know what's down ahead of us. We can hear some white water in the distance, so hopefully we get a bit of excitement and nothing too dangerous. But eventually, the Agnes River became less water and more rocks, which meant for us much more walking and lining of our canoe. After several more hours, we made our way down the Agnes River until we came across an overgrown bridge abutment. From here, we would embark on a lengthy yet unknown portage down an old logging road. A few bugs? A few bugs. I think we're more than halfway though. I think we got at least 1.4k left, maybe. 
of nice easy logging roads. Getting away from the Agnes River, making our way down to Tea Lake and the Shakwa River. And then we've got to, after we do about, hopefully no more than two more K of logging road portages, we're on the water and it's an easy 6K paddle back to the car. And so concludes our trip. We'll see. How you doing, man? Huh. We don't want to do that every day, but once a year, that's okay. Well, we're making our way back to the car. After doing the Agnes Creek all morning, we thought we are done with water hazards, but we're coming up this little creek. Unfortunately, we're going against the current, so it's really hard pushing upstream with all the gear. We're on the Shakwa River, more like the Shakwa Trickle. And <laughs> it's 5.49, we were thinking we'd be back at the car at like 2 today. But uh, going down Agnes River and then that almost 4K logging road portage with blowdowns. We're still going. But our spirits are high, you know the car's not too far away. Finally, open water, and the route back to the landing on Rushbrook Lake. Thus ending our amazing five-day adventure through the West Spanish Forest.